don't mind paying my fair share. I just don't want to pay my unfair share. Hey there, everyone. Dave Barlow here with the gang from Sell for 1%. And our special guest here this morning is Master Appraiser, Mark mm -hmm. Calvary. And Mark, how long you been doing appraisals again? 20-something years? Yeah, 21 years. Yeah. That's a long time to be doing something. Yes, I'm... Aren't you I'm tired of it? I'm, pardon me? Aren't you tired of it? Uh, some days I do get tired of it, but... Uh, um, it's just like I don't people like, do. It's, it, it's great. I, you know, I get to work for myself. And, and, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's and the that's best perfect. part. So today, uh, the talk of the town for some time, and everybody knows that I'm in real estate. I'm going to be at a big uh, retirement party this uh, Saturday night. And I'm sure uh, the one question that I'm going to be getting from everybody there, because it's going to be, and not that I'm close to retirement age, but um, is going to be property taxes. And property taxes uh, took a pretty good jump this year. Uh, I think I read about 30% on average. So that means that some people might be at 40%, some people might be at 20%. But the average overall in the area was about a 30% uh, jump. And, it's, and it seems like it's all, it's Franklin County and all the contiguous counties around that are seeing these uh, big jumps. And Mark, you're an appraiser, so we thought it'd be fun to talk to you a little bit about, you know, the ins and outs and how these uh, county guys uh, come up with these numbers. So enlighten us, please. Okay. Uh, well, Franklin County's come out with their new uh, value. And, um, you know, Mike Stenziano is the Franklin County auditor. Mm. And he, he's been making the rounds telling everybody that their property taxes are going up and, and so forth. Um, I think the first thing I want to tell everybody is, you know, don't freak out quite yet. Um, you know, my, my values went up over 30%, but that doesn't mean my taxes will in increase 30%. Right. Okay, so um, what they do is every three years they do a triennial update, and um, and what they do is they use mass appraisers, and I'm a fee appraiser. I appraise one house at a time. Right. Uh, a mass appraiser might appraise a whole subdivision at once or a whole block um, at one time, and what they do is they use things called AVMs or uh, automated valuation models. And they just plug numbers into a computer program and, um, you know, the, they pick up the sales that were in the neighborhood for the last three years and they determine a percentage about how much a property goes up and then they tack it on to everyone pretty much, that percentage. Some people are a little higher for, for different reasons. Some might be a little lower, but uh, they tack on a percentage and, and they say, this is your new value. You know, live with it, basically. So well, you my, might have the right to challenge it, which I'm guessing they're going to see a lot of challenges. Uh, yes. Um, you know, I do quite a bit of um, uh, we call it border revision work. Right. Uh, and that's where you challenge your taxes in the in the border revision. And um, three things could happen. Uh, they could agree with you and lower your taxes. They could disagree with you and keep your taxes higher. Um or um, they might um, not. They might just say, "Well, you know, we're going to stick with our uh, our 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 formula here, and, and this is what you're going to pay." So you could go higher, you could go lower, or you could stay the same. Is, is what I'm trying to say. So, so I know I, I mean, it could backfire. Uh, yes, it could backfire on you. It is possible. Um, I've never had that happen before, right. but it is a possibility. So I have uh, seen in Franklin County, there's a, about 500, depending on what source you look at, between 500 and 550,000 households in Franklin County. And we know that for the most part, your property taxes are based on your valuation and that your value, and I've always kind of seen anywhere from about 15 to 20% less than 
what we think the real value is. So if I'm doing a market analysis, you know, we have a homeowner who says, hey, um, taxman says, you know, my house is worth 300 grand. And then we do the market analysis and we say, yeah, we think it might be worth about 330 to 340. And they're like, well, how can that be? And it's like, well, the taxman has this border revision. And if they overvalue your home, you have the right to challenge that. And so if Franklin County had 550,000 houses all challenge at the same time, nothing would ever get done down at the auditor's office. And so they intentionally, I think intentionally, devalue the home to a certain extent. But I think at 30% on average, they're probably going to see a little bump in that challenge uh, office. They might see a bump. I don't think those people are going to win because the last three years, prices have gone up quite a bit. And that's why I think the backfire is interesting. I could see where, you know, they're like, yeah, like you're saying, Dad, like, oh, no, you know, actually, you are undervalued. You know, even though we upped it, you know, actually, you know, we didn't up it quite enough. I, I doubt they start doing that. But the other thing that's interesting, like back when Clarence Mingo was the auditor, this was back with the uh, 2011, 12, maybe we had him come in our office uh-huh. and he was explaining that the county has a nut. They have a number they have to hit in order to, to pay for everything. And so if, if people start contesting and dropping their property values, that what they do is they just spread that out amongst your neighbors so that they don't actually lose any money. Your neighbors pay a little bit more to offset your challenge. And so what I think is going to be really interesting to watch is like next year with commercial real estate, I don't know if people realize how much property taxes commercial buildings are paying. And if all of a sudden those buildings go vacant and those tax bills start drying up, I would suspect we're going to see some kind of an assessment or something increase in Franklin County that they can offset that because they can't let services grind to a halt. So I find it all really interesting, the whole dynamics of everything. Um, It's, you know, I'm always seriously minded. I think that's a a, a really good point because I think Mingo at the time talked about as property values went down and they were adjusting property values down, which then adjusted your property taxes down, he did say that they moved that uh, loss to commercial properties. Yeah. And I got a, 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 one of my best friends owns a number of commercial buildings around Columbus and he saw his taxes jump. 20, 25 percent, in which he uh, actually ended up hiring a uh, attorney to challenge it. And I think overall, you know, they ended up saving thirty, forty thousand dollars a year in taxes, which was worth the attorney's time. But at the yeah, like Jay said, if they have a million dollar base to run all of Franklin County services, and they lower residential taxes where they're only going to bring in 800 grand, they got to make up that $200,000 someplace. And so they put it on the commercial property. So Mark, um, with your business and the appraisal business, uh, if somebody thinks that they've been overvalued, uh, they could give you a call and, uh, you could work with them and, and letting them know what their, what you think the real value might be before they make that challenge. Yes. Um, this, this is what I recommend. I, I have a little cheat sheet here. I, um, I, I put together. Um, yeah. If you think your taxes are too high, um, and I've gotten a lot of calls so far, uh, contact me either by my email or by my phone. Um, you know, sometimes I can't return your call right away. So, you know, be patient with me. Um, cause I get a lot of calls. Um, and I'll take a look at your property. Um, and I'll take a look at the, some of the sales in the neighborhood and so forth. And I'll tell you what, you know, if I think you have a shot at lowering your taxes or not. And um, and what I can do is I can prepare, prepare an appraisal. And then you can take that with your complaint form down to the Board of Revision and file that. And generally, you might not even have a hearing. Because the Board of Revision might look at your your complaint, they'll look at the appraisal, and if they agree with the appraisal, um, 
I've never had anyone disagree other than the Columbus public schools. Um, oh yeah. And I'll, I'll get into that later, but, but yeah. um, another different video. <laughs> yeah. Another video, another day possibly. Exactly. But, um, and then usually when you're complaint, but, but here's what I tell people to do is keep on paying your real estate taxes. Right. Um, so if your taxes, tax bill is higher in December, um, you know, you, if you have a mortgage and you escrow, you know, your escrows are going to go up. Um, what you can do is, uh, you know, if you filed a complaint and, you know, I'm going to give you a number, but I think your home is worth, you can ask the county auditor to, um, you know, base your taxes on that number, even though maybe you haven't had your hearing yet at the board of revision. And then you just pay that number. And then, you know, if you lose, then you're going to have to pay them up. You know, you're going to have to pay extra. Right. Uh, if you win, you're good and uh, uh, and move on from there. But the thing is, is your value um, that, that the county auditor is giving you is, is going to be from 1-1 one, one of 24. So we're going to want to use comps that have sold in September, October, November, December of 2023. Right. And we haven't, we're not there yet. Right. So, um, you know, also with the county auditor, you know, they're, they have these neighborhood informal, yeah, excuse me neighborhood informal meetings and um you know you can go there and meet with a representative of the, of the auditor's office and they can explain your value and so forth and you might be able to provide information to the county auditor um you know showing that your property should be valued lower um i found this to be not very helpful because a lot of the times they'll say no we're going to probably stick with our value and and and, you know, your other alternative is after January 1st is to file a complaint with the BOR, the Board of Revision. Right. So, but yeah, they, frankly, like, and if they're pulling comps, I'm sorry, Dad, if they're pulling comps from this coming fall and winter, I would be, I'd be on the board, I'd be challenging. I mean, I, the writing's on the wall. I don't think they're going to be as high this fall as right. they were last fall. And I, so. I, yeah, they're going to be lower, I think. Um, uh you know, I've noticed homes are, are stay on the on the market um, a little longer right. uh, than they were maybe a year ago. And I'm not saying, you know, it's a particular real estate company. It's just um, what I think has happened is, you know, a lot of people have been using these comps and, um, you know, the value seems to be high, but now the prices have seemed to stabilize. Right. And so, uh, yeah. you know, maybe your neighbor sold their home for twenty or thirty thousand more earlier in the year. Okay, so uh, that that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. Um, and 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 personally, you know, I, I will be filing a complaint with the board of revision. Um, and and here here's what part of the the problem is. Um, and you know, my house, it's you know, I've lived in it for eighteen years. Um, you know, I've got a older kitchen. I've got older bathrooms. I've got older everything. Um, and what the what the county does is with these valuation models, they paint everybody one color. You yeah. know, this is this is what the percentage is going up in the neighborhood and so forth. So you know, the home next door to me, you know, might have a new kitchen, new bathrooms, and so forth. Right. But they went up about the same amount I did. Okay. Right. That's and, you know, they probably should have went up higher and I should have went up a lot lower. So um, here's an example. Uh, I have a friend of mine um, and she lives um, in the North Linden area. Um, I, I'll even tell you the name of the street, Atwood Terrace. And um, her value went from approximately 60000 and the county's new value is one hundred and eighty thousand nine hundred dollars. Oh, good! I believe that. Triples. That's crazy. I be, it's nuts. She tripled. Okay, and and I said, you know, did you put in a new kitchen? Did you do? She goes, I still have the thirty year old kitchen that when we bought the place and everything. And she goes, right. and she and um, yeah, her her taxes I think are, and she's got the homestead exemption, um, so that kind of lowers her taxes a little bit, but. Um, She's going to need to, uh, you know, you know, she's got an old house and and a lot of houses in that area of Atwood Terrace and North Linden. A lot of investors have gone in there and they yep. bought these houses and they remodeled them. They put new kitchens. 
new bathrooms, new windows, new roof, new paint, new siding, whatever. I mean, make it look brand new again. And they sold them for a lot of money. Okay. Her house is the opposite of that. So, you know, I, I, I think she has a really good case, you know, to file a complaint with the board of revision. Um, and you know, I'm going to find comparables for, her. I'm going to write an appraisal for her and she's going to attach the appraisal to the complaint, send it in and wait to see what happens. Right. And I would think for the board of revision, it's would be kind of difficult to, uh, fight the appraisal. Unless the appraisal, if your appraisal comes in and says, well, the house is only really worth 78000 Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, if it's a reasonable appraisal, in my experience right. from from our clients that we've recommended to kind of go through this process, and I think Franklin County has pretty much automated at least that first step now. You can pretty much just go onto the auditor's website, fill out the form, and send in your complaint. And then if the um, uh, Board of Revision does not agree with your value, you then have the right to challenge and ask for a hearing. And I think that's where things are going to bog down as to, um, I, I, I don't know what their number is, but let's say that they're, they've got a thousand, on average, a thousand uh, revision requests a year. I think that number is probably going to jump to thirty or forty thousand this coming uh, year, um, and and like I said, they're just not going to get anything done. So, so I I agree with you, Mark. I think I would wait to see what houses are selling for in uh, October, November, December, and then use those comps to value your home, and then make your uh, complaint in January, February. And I, th and with any luck, they're going to have 10, 15 times their normal number. And they're just going to be like, go, go, go. Hopefully it's not like my old school teachers that when they were grading tests, they said, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, that's we that's because you were always in the corner, Dave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, I sat in the front row. I was, I was bold. Um, oh, they needed to keep their eye on you then. Exactly. <laughs> if you have any questions about any of this stuff, uh, Mark's information, uh, phone number, email is here on screen. As he said, give him a call. He'd be more than happy to uh, help you with your uh, situation. And if he can help save you, you know, 10% of the new valuation over the next three years, it's probably a pretty good uh, savings on your annual tax bill. And I think that's the key here is don't mind paying my fair share. I just don't want to pay my unfair share. And so, right. all right, Mark, thank you, sir. Have yourself a great afternoon and um, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Jason. Good to see both of you. And, uh, Keep on selling real estate and make me really busy. There you go. <laughs> You're the man, Mark. Thanks. Man. All righty. Take care, guys.